Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel and today we're gonna paint an impressionist painting and learn how to paint an abstract seascape from a reference image. So I'm using a 5 by 5 inches canvas and I've taken out my filbert brushes of three different sizes and the colors I'm using are white, burnt umber, burnt sienna, yellow ochre, pink, orange, hookahs green, uh, deep, uh, light olive green, aqua blue, thalo blue, manganese blue and yellow. Okay, I'm starting with my big filbert brush with lots of white and a little bit of manganese blue to paint the sky. Here I'm making big bold brush marks and covering the sky in just a few strokes. Then in the same brush, I picked up Thalo Blue to paint the distant mountains and continuing to paint the sea. Our target in the first step is just to fill up the main elements that we see in the reference image. So I'm just using the same brush with the different colors to mark out the cliff on the right and also paint the beach area. I'm not too bothered about the colors here because this is just the base layer and in the second layer, I'll add the colors that I like. Now in the second layer, I'm changing the sky color to a sunset sky instead of keeping it just blue because you know, I just wanted to, I just felt like painting a sunset uh, sky. Now I'm going to paint the cliffs using some loose strokes and using hookahs green and light olive and mix in a bit of burnt umber and burnt sienna. Remember, this is a loose style painting, so it is a great practice to hold your brush from the back to keep your painting loose. You don't want to get too much into the detailing. Here I'm mixing a lot of white with burnt sienna and burnt umber to get this beautiful beige color to use for the beach. Make sure your brush has a lot of paint to create the beautiful textures of your painting. Simple small strokes added once and then just leave it alone. Now let's get back to the ocean and add more layers to it and give the impression of waves. Remember to keep your brush strokes loose so just add one brush stroke confidently and leave it alone. Also remember to hold your brush from the back of the handle so this really helps, on, helps in loosening up. I am using the tip of the brush to create thin strokes and the belly of the brush to create big bold strokes. So remember to keep changing the direction of your brush to give your painting different types of brush strokes. Now I switch to my liner brush to add some details but not in a tight way. I am keeping the small details also very loose. And finally I am adding the tiny figures on the beach. And that's it. We finished painting our impressionist seascape. I hope you learned how to create an impressionist painting. If you liked watching this video, make sure to like and subscribe because it really motivates me to create more videos. Thank you for watching and if you have any question, do post it in the comment. And if you are new here, subscribe to my channel and you will get to see a lot of art info coming your way. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one.